This is the time of year where most of us make New Year's resolutions. I talked about my personal resolution on the air last night, and today I did the same for sports teams that call our area home. We start with the Utica Comets. My New Year's resolution for them is organizational health, and that includes the Vancouver Canucks. The healthier the Canucks are, the better shape the Comets will be in. And if last season taught us anything, it's that the AHL is the survival of the fittest. And if the Comets are fully loaded come playoff time, watch out. To Utica's newest professional sports team, Utica City FC, they just had their first sellout in franchise history this past Sunday. For New Year's, I want to see every game in the Adirondack Bank Center filled to the brink. Let's give Utica City FC the best home field advantage in the Major Arena Soccer League. Syracuse football is coming off their best season since 2001. They beat West Virginia without their star player quarterback Will Greer in the Camping World Bowl. So they had a lot to celebrate. But this year, let's raise the bar. Going forward, winning a bowl game in late December should not be a reason to celebrate. As for Syracuse basketball, they didn't exactly put the college basketball world on notice with their non-conference play, which is why for New Year's, the Orange need to make an ACC statement, especially against teams like number one Duke, North Carolina, Virginia, and Notre Dame. If not, you can kiss any hopes for an NCAA tournament berth goodbye. At the high school level, all I ask is that we show those Syracuse schools who's boss and win as many sectional titles as humanly possible.